Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually just studying for finals, so I thought I would take y'all on a five minute study break. Today we're going to do dosage calculations. All right, so today we are going to be talking about the dosage calculation. The most common one is the desired over half times quantity. What is the problem? So the top part is the desired. That is what the order is for. That is going to be over or divided by what you have or what is available. And that's going to be times by the quantity, how much per dose is in what you are giving. Our order is for Keflex 250 milligrams three times a day. Available is Keflex 500 milligrams in a tablet. So our order, if we follow our mark, is our desired, which is what the order is for. So that's going to be the first part. It's going to be the first part of our problem. The available Keflex 500 milligrams in a tablet is, if we follow our line, is our half, so that's what's available. So we know that's going to go on the bottom of the equation. So that's how we got this set up right here from this problem. 250 milligrams, because that's our order, that's what the provider ordered, over 500 milligrams is what is available. It's available in a tablet form, so one tablet is 500 milligrams, so that's times one. Because our available is 500, that's 1, that's why that's 1. So first we're going to do this part of the problem, 250 divided by 500. The most common mistake when doing the first part of this problem is not doing 250 divided by 500, but doing 500 divided by 250. It does matter, so it's 250 divided by 500, which is going to be 0 0.5 times the 1. So 0 0.5 times 1 means you're going to be giving half a tablet. Is our order 50 milligrams? three times a day, available 125 milligrams per 5 ml. We first have to do our order. Well, our order is 50 milligrams. What is available? Available is 125 milligrams times the quantity. It's per 5 ml, so we're going to have a 5 right there. So 50 divided by 125 is going to give us 0.4 times our quantity, which is 5, which is going to mean you're going to be given 2 ml. So these are just two examples of problems um, of the desired over have. You can, it's so easy to just make these problems up yourself. When you're first learning, what I recommend to do is to keep them easy. Keep them easy enough that you could do them in your head if you had to, because if you're not getting the correct answer, then you'll more likely be able to figure out what's going on. Another thing with desired over have that you run into with a lot of questions is needing to change your units. So I use this acronym at the bottom here. Kind hearts don't use daring chess moves unless necessary. Kind stands for kilo, hearts hecta, deca, unit, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano. So 2 milligrams equals 0 0.002 grams. So to figure this out we first have to start at milligrams and all we're doing is moving the decimal left or right we just need to know which direction we need to move it so two milligrams equals 0 0.002 grams alright so how did I do that I came over here and I found my milli and I know that I need to go to my base unit over here how many m moves does it take to get to unit well let's see we go milli to centi centi to deci, deci to unit. That is one, two, three movements to the left. So now I'm going to come back over here to my two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my decimal, you know, is always behind your number, and I'm going to move it one, two, three, and that's where my decimal is going to go, and then I'm going to zero, zero. That's how you got 0 0.002. 5 grams equals how many milligrams? Well, to figure that out, I'm going to come up to the top and find my grams. My grams is a unit because it's a base unit. And we're trying to go to milli. So we're going from unit to deci, deci to centi, centi to milli. One, two, three, and we're moving to the right. So we know our decimal is going to go to the right. We know our decimal is right after that, and we are going to be moving it three places. One, 
two, three, that's where your desi goes, and fill in one, two, three. Now you have five grams equals 5,000 milligrams. The problem that you might see like this, so our order is to give five grams stat, or right now, available is 2,500 milligrams. Well, we need to take 2,500 milligrams and turn it into grams. So let's do that. With our milli, gram is a base unit, so we know we're going to unit. We're going to move to the left one, two, three. Here we know our decimals right here after the number. One, two, three. Put in our decimal. Now we have 2.5. So 2,500 milligrams equals 2.5 grams. Now that we know that, we can plug it in because you have to have the same unit on your questions. You can't have a milligram up here and a gram down here. It has to be the same unit. So our order is 5 grams. Available is 2,500 milligrams, which is equal to 2.5 grams. Times 1 equals 2 tablets. So you're going to be giving 2 tablets. The last thing that, to keep in mind when you're doing desired over half problems is rounding rules. Answer is less than one, use a leading zero. So you have to do a 0 0.4. You cannot do a 0.4 because they say that that can be misread as four instead of 0 0.4. Another thing, no trailing zeros. So if you have a whole number like five, they do not want to see five point zero because that's a trailing zero so they don't want that either so guys that's it for our five minute study challenge um, I hope this helped you if it did please leave a comment as always like and subscribe and I'll see you next time